you know, really like to point out Nico and Jamal, the two players who played point guard for us tonight. You know, they had 15 assists and two turnovers. And um, I really believe just watching Nico, he just, he's slowly and steadily settling in and learning how to be a, a college player. And sometimes you forget, still November, still very early in our team's development, but especially uh, with, uh, with the younger guys. And uh, uh, he was really outstanding, maybe the best game that he's played thus far for us. Um, you know, even Zeke, it just uh, got off to maybe a slower start for him, but, you know, nine for 13 from the field. Uh, Josh Green, too, and, you know, I've talked to Josh after the game. What makes him a special player isn't doing one thing. It's that he can check the box in a myriad of, of different ways, you know. Steals, four assists, no turnovers. Some of our best plays we had in transition, you know, he has the ball in his hands. And uh, I have no concerns at all with his shooting. He takes good shots, they'll go in. But I was really happy for Max Hazard. Uh, more than anyone, he he just didn't look right in the first half. I think maybe, I don't want to say he lost confidence as much as I think he just, he wanted to play well so badly that it can work against you. Uh, I pulled him aside going into the locker room and you know just told him like, look, uh, shoot the ball, play with confidence, be who you are. And I'm not saying that's why it happened, but I hope that's why it happened. Uh, he's uh, among the best shooters that I have seen. And uh, you saw him get going in the second half, which he has that, that punch ele element. You know, just, he really can give us that scoring lift off, off the bench. So uh, we'll take it. Uh, again, a couple things in the first half weren't as good. Um, you know, just a little bit like South Dakota State. But, you know, we have a lot of new players learning to play in a system, and it takes time. You know, we had a couple head scratching moments in the first half. I, I felt like we were tight. You know, they, they wanted to do the things that we talked about. Maybe a couple guys forcing the ball inside, maybe not playing with as much confidence. And, and you know, like I, I mentioned, you know, bef after the last game, if we have an early opportunity, we want to take it. We just want to make sure that it's a good early opportunity. We don't want to just all of a sudden forget, you know, what makes us a good team or who has the hot hand just in an attempt to shoot quick. And, uh, you know, although we got going in the second half, you know, it was off of defensive stops. The ball was really being shared, and uh, and we had a lot of quality play. You know, I think every, everybody is going to get a little bit more of an opportunity. We still have five guards we're rotating uh, for three spots. And Stone Gettings is more than capable of uh, playing some spot minutes at the small forward, especially against certain teams. So, um I think the answer to that is just everybody. You know, the, it's just it's hard to sub in and out of games. You know, depth uh, sounds good on the front end, but everybody has to sacrifice a little bit uh, playing nine or ten players. You know, I, I think in some ways that's what happened tonight. You, you know, you can uh, really hit your stride maybe in the second half of games and at times wear a team out or play through foul trouble. So, uh, you know, that that's I think we have a deep team and we just have to continue to grow. Each game's different. You know, I think the score dictates that, who's playing well, who isn't, uh, foul trouble. And, you know, for us, we, we can let guys play a little longer with foul trouble. I don't know if that makes sense, but, you know, just, you know, the penalty for getting a guy with three or four isn't maybe as dire as it is if you only play six players. Yeah, I don't think he took bad shots. You know, he just, he was around the rim and there was contact and, you know, just he, he missed and you're just not used to him missing. Um, but he settled in and, you know, obviously nine for 13, it's a pretty good night. You know, one of the things with Zeke, you know, all these guys can do certain things better. I think we, we expect him to rebound the ball a little bit more, you know, both defense and offense. Uh, he's been much better on the offensive side rebounding than he has been on defense. And I think that's something we have to look at. He has to adjust to the college physicality and block out a little bit better. You know, I think Josh Green and Zeke in many ways set the tone for our team's spirit. You know, both guys, although they're very young, they play the game hard, play defense and offense. You know, they're physical in, in their in the way that they play and it could become contagious, that's for sure.